Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about our newly introduced event dashboard shortcode. Okay, so if we look correctly with WP Event Manager, we created or like redesigned our uh, event dashboard in the front end side. Okay, so let's go there. You will see the event dashboard uh, appearance over here, and we have a shortcode that can replicate the event dashboard in our new page with customizations. Okay, so how we can do that? For that, we're gonna go to our official website and and load our knowledge base. Okay, let's go to our knowledge base, and over here we're gonna search for the event dashboard. Okay, and we're gonna click on this uh, link over here. All right, and the short code for the dashboard or the event dashboard is simply event dashboard. Okay, so for the demonstration, I'm gonna create a new page. Okay, and I'm gonna name it custom event dashboard and paste the shortcode over here but i'm not going to publish it right now okay because event dashboard does have an attribute called post bar page okay i'm going to explain that as well and later on i'm going to explain the how the event dashboard works so stay with me so in the event dashboard you will see there's like a lot of events being listed in the single page right as a list so we can control that number how there is an attribute called posts per page okay so let's say by default is 25 per page so if i set it to 5 and hit publish then our custom event uh, dashboard page will uh, load only five events in one single page then you can use the pagination to navigate and like explore the other events in the dashboard okay pretty simple and pretty elegant to do so so why you might wanna like uh, load lace events into the event dashboard maybe for ui purpose otherwise like this page can get really long like over here and user has to scroll like a way long down and to get the sidebar they have to come back over here again to access the links right so you might want to limit the uh, event listings over here per page to like let's say 10 or 20 but by default is 25 but we give you the ability to modify that as well okay so how the event dashboard works for that we're gonna go to our uh, event dashboard at the back end side okay so from here we can view the event, delete the event, edit the event, right? So we can do the same thing from the uh, event dashboard in the front end side as well, okay? We can even do like certain cool stuff as well. I'll show you how. Over here in the front end side on event dashboard, you can click this button to see details, like more details about the event, such as the view count, the registration counts as well, okay? So let's close this one. You can click this button to edit the event. You can click this uh, like button to mark that event cancelled as well with one click. Okay. You can click this event to duplicate the event. Okay. And then you can click this event to at last remove it or delete it. Okay. So few features over here that are directly available uh, for that to facilitate. You have to go inside the event and modify it. But we give you the ability to modify or like perform certain action directly with one click on the front end side event dashboard. So that's pretty much sums it up for this video. I showed you what the event dashboard shortcode does and what the post pop page attribute does and how the uh, event dashboard works in the front end side. I didn't give you an in-depth demonstration, but that's a topic for another video. So come join me in our next video where we'll talk about something else, something good. Until next time, I'm Shara saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.